Hey, what's up, good people of the world? Hi, forever. Juicy here. How are y'all doing on this fine Saturday evening? I am doing awesome. Just coming in from, excuse me, um, going to Ollie's and to Sam Moon. It's like, I don't have my watch on or my uh, phone with me, but it's around seven, probably seven going on eight. So I want to take y'all with me, but A, I forgot. <laughs> and B, it was kind of crowded in the places I went to because you know, it is Saturday and um, people are out and about. So I want to show y'all some of the things that I got from um, from Ollie's. So, since I got the book up, I might as well use, might as well show y'all the book first. I got another book. It's called the Beans and Grains Bible. And it just talks about beans and grain. I don't know, I'm on this whole little, I'm going to tell y'all about it. I have a drink with me coming up that I was supposed to be doing today. But I may do it tomorrow if it's not raining. It said it's supposed to be like a 40% chance of rain. But anyways, this was, let me bring it back, $3.99. I got this book. I got some extra cleaning stuff for um, when I run out because I bought the little $5 game from um, Family Dollar, I think. But I got this big. Um, 2.21 liter or oh 70 75 fluid ounces I'm sorry a uh, thing of game and it was for $5.99 I got this big old thing from Ollie's I got this and for five dollars that the one that I have is half half this big not even half that big get the small the smallest one whatever for five dollars whatever I got the matching um, fabric softener for $2.99. If y'all can see if it focuses it's on it. And it's in the tropic in tropic sunrise. I'm not sure how it smells. Okay, it smells good. Because I couldn't really smell it in the store and I didn't want just the original um, game. So they had gain and tide and you know all the other stuff I got some Dawn non-concentrated simply clean in the original um, smell and it was for $2.99 if y'all can see $2.99 for this big old thing I don't know why it was on sale for cheap it's uh, 56 fluid ounces $3.99, their price is though, so it would have been four dollars. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just seen it was a pretty good deal, so I got it. Next thing I got is some more kitchen knives. They were a dollar ninety-nine. I have this already. It's just you know some little, just some little kitchen knives. Nothing really important. Important aid. I got um a soap. <laughs> oh wow! I have a soap uh, dispenser, and it was for two ninety nine from Ollie's in purple. They had green and clear, um, but I got the purple because y'all already know what purple is. Um, I got some new two brush, two brushes. They were for 90, 99 cent. And I got them in the soft. <laughs> I got some Listerine. This new, new Listerine called Nightly Reset. And it was for 349. I'll put this here. I got um, this uh, white rain 
maximum hold hairspray uh, for one twenty nine. Oops, there y'all go. For one twenty nine. Um, so I was gonna do like a hair thing, but I don't know. I still might do it if I'm able to get the wig that I was whatever. I was gonna do a whole try to do a wig, put it on my head, whole whatever, whatever. But I sent it back because it was too short. Like I didn't know what ten inches was, but it was literally, literally like here, like a short, a real short bob, and I'm like, hmm, hmm. I kind of want it sitting on my shoulders, so I sent it back. It was from Amazon. It would have been so cute, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I got uh, I'm I'm gonna try this deodorant here. I normally use the Degree. Um, I just bought some too. Um, Degree. Um, the spray on whatever. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> I'm being I don't know. But I got the Nivea uh, Pure Invisible Quick Dry, and I guess it's just a regular scent. Um, and it was for $2.99. If y'all can see it. Dang, maybe I should have. Oh no, the tape is on it. Okay. Really? Y'all, if y'all would have seen what happened. Okay, it smells good. Oh. Oh, it does smell good. Um, I also got the Nivea. Moisturizing body wash, uh, cream soft, care for natural to dry skin. It has sweet almond oil in it. Mm. And it was for $1.99. Oops, there you go. There you go. $1.99, Nivea. Gosh, why was I so up close on there for y'all? <clears throat> and so, Right, let me show you just one more thing before I get to and then I got this Olay sensitive uh, Hungarian water essential that's not essential essence common cleansing water <laughs> it was for a dollar ninety nine oh y'all can't see it because it's clear there it's for $1.99. I hope y'all seen it. <clears throat> this is what I was talking about when I was saying Olay, the Olay Daily uh, Facial Wash. Um, cleansing pad things. This is what I was talking about. And I got it for $3.99. And they're normally like $6 or something like that in Wal excuse me, a Walmart or Target or whatever. And it comes with its own two uh tub um yeah with the tub is like six or seven dollars and it comes already in a in this package with 33 cloths cloths um yeah see and this says their price is 5.99 and our price is 3.99 i'm gonna show y'all again because i'm not sure if y'all actually got a look at it before i took it down and it's in the um shea butter smell so um i couldn't find it at the ollies that i went to when i was telling you about it so i had went on um amazon.com and found this one same thing it's just in the box this one was six dollars just for this box just the box <laughs> Same thing, it comes in this own little package. It has uh, 33 dry cloths in it. Um, it's just a different brand. It's deeply purifying, clean. I said purifying. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, in this little box was $6. And this tub was $3.99. 
And I went to the Ollie's in uh, the Ollie's in Louisville this time. The last time I went to the one in Mesquite. I think I told y'all that. Okay. Okay. So that was all that I got from Ollie's. Um, and yeah, right down the street from Ollie's was. I went to Marshalls, I went to Ross, I went to Burlington, cause I was trying to find me another purse because my Juicy Couture purse um, is starting to tear um, by the by the straps down at the bottom. You know when the straps are connected to the. Let me show y'all. <laughs> While I was up, I can get my. Oh, that Nivea stuff smells good. Mmm, I can't wait to use it. Oh, what that for? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's starting to rip right here in this little crease. But I put some, um, I put some super glue right there, so it'll last for a while until you know it starts to break down. So I went to Ross and Marshalls and Burlington to see if they had any more purses on sale. Excuse me to see if they had any um to see if they had any purses on sale <laughs> but they didn't so i went to sam moon y'all remember that haul i did in 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 houston where i went to sam moon and i was showing y'all the sam moon is like an accessory store like they have accessories so I was going to find me a cross body bag and came across adjust your screens people these two things these two cross body bags they were on sale for seven oh seven oh seven ninety nine each uh, if y'all can see tilt it a little bit yes Yes, this is so bright. I'll open up the orange one first. You know I can wear that green one with that green outfit. You know what I'm saying? I'll be extremely loud. And they're just, you know, ooh, just this regular old crossbody bag. It has a zipper in the back. Um, a zipper in the front with some tassels on it so that you close it it looks like that um, the inside is you know plain it has a, a strap and then the inside looks, oops, inside looks like that zip on this side zip on that side oh no pockets you know just a regular basic type of bag and if y'all don't know why I got it, I'm going to tell you why I got it. Because it was on clearance for $7.99. And then I thought, hmm, what can I do with this? I know I can take pictures. Um, if I take swim, if I take bathing suit pictures, um, then I'll take a picture with that green person, that green um, swim, um, whatever. Y'all yeah, know what green thing I'm talking about. I can take a picture. I take a picture with that. So I don't know. Again, they were $7.99, so that's why I got them. And then I got this cute little bag. Now I was looking for a crossbody bag. See, yeah, I must know this is not going to be a crossbody bag because I keep saying I was looking for a crossbody bag. I didn't find one. Not one that I like. But I found this cute little thing. Please say I got it in the right color. Okay, rip you. Rip you. Yay! Look how cute, look how cute this little bag is. Oh my gosh. Get 
unzips. It has a strap. Oops. It has a brown strap that goes with it, and it's pretty. It's pretty big, as big as you know. You see, this thing is. Look how cute this thing is. I had to get it because it was just so cute. Just so cute. Uh, and it was for $21.99. Oops, wrong way. $21.99. Oops. Can y'all see it? $21.99. The brand is called Izzy and Al. Alley. And it's vegan friendly and lead safe. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. But yeah, it, it's so cute. You know, I can just have it on my wrist. See? Or I can just hold it like that. Or, you know, I can wear it. I don't know if I'm wearing it as a crossbody because it is so bulky um, that it's going to kind of stick out on my hips. My hips are already wide, so, um, yeah. But, yeah, they had a they had this color, brown, they had a red color, and they had a light tan, like cream colored one. But I got the brown because it, it was so cute. I don't know, this this just spoke to me. This just told me, hey, pick me up. As well as these two things told me to pick them up, but more I was thinking I was thinking more of these as a as a picture as picture bag than you know actually wearing those out and about. But I still just might do it anyways because no need to just um, cord them in my in my room or maybe. Don't quote me, but I, even if I don't wear them, I could probably do a giveaway, excuse me, and some lucky lady could win it. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I'm just thinking and I'm just talking. I might just be saying some shit and not going to do nothing and keep it. But if I do, y'all will be the first, of course, to know. Um what I'm doing and I did go to Burger King because I had a coupon I got some chicken fries and a large thing of fries for three dollars but that really ain't no deal because I seen on the menu that a meal chicken fries and regular fries for three dollars and twenty nine cents wow it's a deal somewhere. But, um, yeah. That's all, I'm gonna, that's all I have to say. I'm about to put all this stuff up. Or, no, I'm not about to put it up right just yet. I'm going to eat my food. And then put, um, put this stuff up. And then, watch some NCIS. And then, <laughs> Nothing. I don't know. I know I'm not gonna be on here talking to y'all, but you know, whatever. I'll just talk to y'all, good peoples, later. Um, y'all may see me tomorrow on my drink with me because I have something that I want to talk to y'all about, and I'm excited. <laughs> but then I'm scared, but I'm excited. But anyways, we'll talk about this tomorrow. Talk to you good peoples later. <laughs> hey, what's up there, people of the world wide web? Juicy here. Coming to y'all on this good Sunday evening. Um, I just put out, I ain't put out nothing yet. I just done <laughs> a drink with me chit chat video that I need to um, edit starring this Stella Rose Black. The bottle is halfway 
empty. It is some good wine. Thank my two subscribers. Sorry, y'all. I got y'all on my tripod. Thank my two subscribers that suggested I try Stella Rose Black. It's it was very good. It is very good. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm still kind of stumbling over my words, but um, I am about to make me some garlic, some garlic parmesan wings from some from some garlic parmesan wings, y'all. My bad. I am feeling it. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to come on here, oops, and say, hey, what's up? How y'all was doing? I would show y'all me cooking, but I have so many dishes that I need to put up. Oops, I'm all out of focus. Uh, so many dishes I need to put up. My living room looks. So, I'm just about to make my wings. Ooh, I'm going to make some lima beans. <sighs> Do I want to show y'all? I mean, it's not really, you know, anything. Now I got water bottles all on the floor. <sighs> like water bottles on the floor, y'all. Um, it's not really anything big. I got some frozen lima beans. I'm going to add some chicken stock to it. Some bacon. Fry some, not fry the bacon, but you know, render the fat of the bacon. Put some onions. And then the frozen beans. I only say that I don't really want to show y'all because my kitchen still looks a hot mess though, y'all. Good grief. Anyways, yeah, like, it's just me here. So I got this bacon. Turn y'all this way, cause it's so much shiny light or not. Turn y'all back this way. Um, This bacon I got from Target. These wings I got from Whole Foods when I went to go and um, pick up my Amazon packages. And my frozen lima beans. So, you know, it's not, not really a big deal. trying to think let me clean this chicken off real quick then I'll just show y'all how it looks um, you know because again it's, it's very simple nothing really I'm having wings and beans <laughs> Wings and beans. Do I have macaroni and cheese? No, but I do have those gnocchis. But, I don't know. I need to go grocery shopping because I don't really have any sides. that I can make to put with it. But what do you actually make with wings besides fries? I don't know. I mean, you kind of want to have a complete meal, uh, a protein, a starch, and vegetables. Um, I don't know why I looked in there. I gotta put my water up in there. And the only starch I have are those gnocchis. But how do you make that? 
because they're already kind of cooked. Could I put them with my lima beans? Or would that be nasty? This potato and wheat. Cook before eating, remove, boiling water, strain. I mean, I can make this with just like butter or something, like saute it with some butter. I'ma Google, cause all I have to do is boil it for two or three minutes, wait till they float up to the top, and then add, you know, I'll do something. Maybe I'll add some chicken broth to it. I don't know, I'll figure out something. Sometime, one of them, one time I seen it, it was done with some type of cream sauce, but I don't like cream sauce too much. Like Alfredo sauce, I don't too much like that. <sighs> oh, maybe I can use Parmesan and butter. I do have some Parmesan cheese in there. I think I seen something like that. I don't know, I'ma Google something, but. In the meantime, in between time, let me rinse off these chicken wings, get them in this bag with this seasoning, um, and put them in. Ooh, maybe I can have garlic parmesan gnocchi. Let me look that up and see how I make that. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna put them in there. I'm gonna show y'all this, whatever. Okay, so here's the wings. I just added them to the bag and mushed them up together. Um, they say spray a non-stick, spray it. I just got some vegetable spray cooking sheet. Even though it's a non-stick cooking sheet. Oh, it says do a single layer, a single layer of the wings. Get my little stickity thing. All right, my little whatever. Let's turn y'all this way and go y'all down. That's how that's gonna be. Move some more of this over. Make some room. All right. Sit over there. Ugh. Okay, this is how the bacon's coming. Oop. This is how, okay. <laughs> this is how the bacon's coming out. Um, I, I did, I cut, chopped about six, not six, seven cuts of of um, bacon pieces and um, yeah now I'm about to add these fresh chopped y'all can't see onions as well as some frozen onions which I think I could have done before because oil and water does not mix Turn it down some, but it's just these, these three. 
the three mix. I only have a little bit left. So that's why I chopped up some regular onion too. I like onion. If y'all can't tell. I put onion in everything. Just about. Oh, look at that bacon. Bacon. Mmm. Okay, you guys. Dinner is done. Um. Yeah. So, I got the chicken out the oven. It looks like that. It started off. Oh, oops. Okay. Oops. Lord, whatever. It started off as uh, 30 minutes. I left them in there for. And then I flipped them over and cooked them another 12 minutes so I'm hoping they're cooked all the way I really just like the flats so um, the drumsticks if they're not cooked all the way I'll just put them in there again but it looks like it's cooked 45 minutes or 42 minutes on 350 is what I cooked it on at um, my oop, my llama beans and I don't know. I just made something with my no my noki because uh oops 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 because like I say I don't like cream sauce too much and all the recipes I see I seen had like a cream sauce to it. Only thing I added was um some tomato paste, some chicken stock put the rest of my banana paste uh rest of my tomato paste in this little bowl i used some minced garlic and some i can't believe it's not butter and my trio of flavor my trio of seasoning the garlic onion and uh Chris is something or another. It looks good, it tastes good. Um, so, yes. Yeah. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I'll do myself, you know what I mean? But anyways, um, I'm gonna let it cool down some. I'm finish editing this drink with me video so I can have it out in a few minutes or in a few hours. Well, before this day ends. Sorry, y'all. Just moving y'all with me to the room so I can finish editing my video there we go and that's it for today this sunday evening um so i'll talk to y'all later happy sunday um hope y'all enjoyed y'all sunday it rained out here in dallas so i didn't do much but um watch a little NCIS did my drink with me cooked my dinner for tonight and it's 6 10 I woke up at 11 47 because I didn't go to sleep till almost four o'clock in the morning so yeah I, I don't know what's what's been going on with me and my timing but what my sleeping but I'm going to have to jump on it because, you know, with this whole journey I'm about to put myself through, I mean, I'm going to have to get up early. Well, my clock, I set my clock at 8, and that's about as early as I can get up. <laughs> so, um, 8 in the morning is the time I need to start getting up, moving around, even if it isn't but to 
go outside and do my walk and then come back in the house and chill but you know an introvert's life is pretty much same thing every day wake up look at some shit do nothing look at some old shit do nothing look up some shit do some shit we might go outside you know what i mean go to sleep and do that all over again you know <laughs> it's not as interesting as people say but you know whatever whatever it is what it is but anyways i'll talk to you good peoples later yeah all right <laughs> Hey, what's up, good people of the world? Why, web? Juicy here. Sorry for coming to y'all all sweaty. <laughs> but I just came from uh, Walmart and Kroger's. Had to do some grocery shopping. And I want to come on and say, hey, what's up? Today is the fourth. Um, I don't really celebrate um, this holiday, so yeah. Okay, so down there I got some meats. I have some frozen food. I have some, um, some, bring y'all down some more. I got some meats, I got some, some vegetables, some cabinet stuff, like dry beans and canned, some canned goods, not a lot, but this was a hundred and 70 something dollars almost 180 something dollars worth of groceries um because you know paying y'all up because y'all know eating healthy costs more than eating oops yeah i'm a sweater because eating healthy uh, eating healthy costs more than eating, you know, unhealthy. So, um, I'm doing, I'm doing good in the, in the eating healthy part, department. Um, so, I just, um, got some chicken, chicken tenderloin. I got them in two separate packs this time instead of that one big pack and taking them out because um, I wanted to get what you call um, like the vacuum seal system so that if I um, you know buy some stuff like meat or vegetables like meat or vegetables then I could vacuum seal them in the in the bags and freeze them but i couldn't really find one and i didn't want to order it offline because i've already had one mishap with my um items not being delivered to my house so yeah i'm kind of upset about that because that was 55 dollars worth of olay uh face moisturizing stuff like that so i'm pissed um, I got two things of ground turkey. See, I still have some fish left that I probably need to get rid of because it looks like it's frostbitten. <laughs> two turkeys. If I put it this way, who that take up? Then I got these Italian sausage from uh, uh, Johnsonville and I got it in mild and sweet it's like shit I was <laughs> I was shopping for the end like if we have another pandemic I guess or another quarantine I don't want to go outside I mean I already don't go outside but I for sure don't want to go outside this time um then i got two things of ground meat ground beef i got 
a pack of weenies. Cause I like hot dogs. I like, you know, um, not just hot dogs, but um, damn, I ain't get no buns. I like, <laughs> I like like chili cheese, chili cheese dogs. I, I, yeah, that's mine. What's up? Um, I got. I couldn't find a small bag of. The ones that's like five dollars and forty-four cents, or five dollars even. So I got this big bag, which pretty much I would have got two of the small bags for this price, and it was like uh, nine ninety-eight. So two, two of the small bags would have been ten dollars. And then I also got it in um, large. Check out some of this um, air. Oh, I got some more clothes and stuff in here. Um, so I'm going to start trying to eat breakfast in the morning because I am not a morning eater. I do like breakfast, but I don't eat um, breakfast in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I eat breakfast food, like, during the daytime, um, but <laughs> not at breakfast, not the daytime, but, you know, like, lunchtime and dinner time, I'll eat breakfast, but I won't eat breakfast for breakfast. Crazy. So, I got some turkey, some turkey patties, the last one there. I got some fries because I cannot, I can't, I can't go without eating fries, so eat it in moderation. Um, I got two, two packs of my, um, these ice, these really tell you ice, again, they're only a hundred. Where it says that it, well, this one don't say it, but it says it on this one. So I got the mango and kiwi strawberry one, and then I have the lemon and the lemon and strawberry, and it is only a hundred calories per cup. So Just take them out of the bag. And they were very low with um, their frozen vegetable section in Kroger's and in uh, Walmart because I went to two different Kroger's but one Kroger's didn't even barely had anything in it. barely any frozen frozen vegetables and since nope 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 <laughs> let's find the frozen vegetables Kroger's no it's not from Kroger's I got them from Walmart Or did I? Please don't say I left my vegetables in the car. No. Where did I get them from? Here they go. So, the only thing I got in the frozen vegetable section was some another mixed blend, seasoning blend. Um, I got some Italian style vegetable, mixed vegetables. And this one has zucchini in it. It has zucchini, carrot, cauliflower, baby lima beans, Italian green beans, and red peppers. Cause again, I'm technically not supposed to eat um, a lot of corn. If y'all don't know, this is what my doctor told me. I'm not sure how true it is, but she told me that uh, corn produce a lot of t testosterone 
testosterone testosterone you know what I'm trying to say a lot of a lot of the men hormones so um, I was told to cut out eating a lot of corn and so I mean I can't I can't help but to eat corn because corn is my favorite favorite vegetable um, I got some more orange juice again um, I don't really drink orange juice um, but to put more nutrients you know put some more things in my body I have to suck it up and just drink the god dang orange juice I got some onion bagels oh I didn't show you I got some cream cheese as well um, I got a lot of dried beans because I have a cookbook that um, that has a lot of, I think I got a, cook, a bean cookbook or a soup cookbook. No, I have a bean cookbook. And um, I know beans are high in protein as well, aren't they? I think, but I just uh, got a lot of beans. So I got this light red kidney bean. I got some great northern beans. Um, some spaghetti. Okay, now I can just start picking up stuff because I think everything that's cold is in the refrigerator. Um, I got some more of those gnocchis from Kroger's. They were so good. Um, I got an aloe plant because I was trying to look for, or well, an aloe leaf. Uh, aloe vera leaf because I was trying to look for um ah I was trying to look for my aloe vera juice the one that I use from um the brand called uh, lilies of the desert but I couldn't find it on um Amazon or I couldn't find it in Whole Foods is where I normally get it from oh I got some more some free some refrigerant stuff. I got two things of tomatoes, tomatoes from Kroger's, and they were buy two for five dollars. Okay, maybe I have to start using this bottom thing. Two here. I have some carrots. I have three lemons, five limes. I had some limes. The limes that I showed you that I got from Trader Joe's, they were horrible. Like, they didn't even last long. Uh, it got hard real fast. I don't know if key limes are supposed to, how, how are you supposed to store them, but those key limes were hard when I wanted to uh, try to tuck them up and make lime water. It was only one of them that was good. Okay, so I got <laughs> two of the colored bell peppers, uh, orange and red. They were two for three dollars at Kroger. Some bell pepper. I think I'm gonna chop those up. Chop them up and put them in the freezer because I don't want them to go bad and I know they will if I just leave them if I just leave them down there because you know I don't make meals all the time but you know I just want to have some fresh fruit I got two bags of these petite melody garden potatoes and I got them in gold, red, and purple. I've never had purple potatoes before, so I had to get them because I've never had them before. Uh, you know, I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to open um, my palate up to different tastes and things like that, so I'm sure I could find a recipe that calls for um, mixed, mixed, uh, ooh, close that before I eat. It calls for mixed 
potatoes. <laughs> I think that's what I'm trying to say. Um, okay. So, next thing I got is some mandarin oranges from Walmart. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I got some applesauce from Walmart. Some navy beans. Um, some chunky pasta sauce, mushroom and onions. I heard mushrooms are good for you. Any, any way you can consume it, it is good for you. Um, I don't like cream sauce, but I seen a recipe that they made with cream sauce and these gnocchis. And so I got the roasted garlic Alfredo sauce from Kroger's. I got two cans of chili, Harmel chili that is. And I got two cans of Manwich. Yay. <laughs> um, I got some chicken bra. Oops. Some chicken bra. Some more noodles. These are the udon noodles I use for my Chinese food. <laughs> uh, so it's udon noodles, stir fry, stir fry noodles. And then they had these noodles here. Who, who can mm, not even gonna try to say it, but it's these noodles. They look like that underneath. And then these are the two difference i like these because they're big i've never seen these so i had to try them they were both 288 and they're on the asian um aisle of walmart okay and for those noodles i got some fried rice well not for the noodles i got some rice in here somewhere but i have some fried rice from kukumon the brand Kukumon. I have the stir fry seasoning, which is good. I had this already. I should have showed y'all me making it, but I was hungry. And yeah. Then I got the chow mein. Y'all see it? The chow mein sauce. I bought some more of the garlic parmesan um, sauce uh, mix pack because I think I messed up on the last one. Say, I need to read the instructions before I just think I know what I'm doing. But anyways, <laughs> I got some turkey sticks, turkey sausage sticks, which I like so much. Whew. I got some small red beans. I got some Spanish rice. I got some cookies. <laughs> I got some cookies, y'all, okay? Doggone it. You know, hey, I ain't got chocolate nowhere else, but those cookies are the only thing I have that's chocolate, okay? Okay? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> I got two cans of mushrooms. Two cans. Oh, I'm running out of space here. Or I can just move these out the way because there is nothing in those. And I got, I've never seen dried garbanzo beans or chickpeas. I like hummus. Dang, that's what I was supposed to be getting. They had a hummus mix on the bean like the canned bean aisle or just the canned food aisle that I was trying to look for. But I don't know if they still sell it because I don't know, I didn't even look for it. I was supposed to be looking for it, but I didn't. But um, 
I think I can soak these and get them back to what they used to look, what, you know, what they look like and make my own hummus. I gotta get a blender thing. I got some lentil. I should've got some red lentils, but I just got the regular lentils. I got some black beans. Okay, we got about five bags left to go. I got some black beans. And some brown rice. I got some Nature Valley Crunch Bars. Oh, they have chocolate in this one. Here. Whatever. I got taco rice. Taco rice. This was on sale. I got red beans and rice. Chicken flavored fried rice and Mexican rice. Okay, y'all. We almost done. We down to <laughs> we're down to four bags. Some onions. Some crackers. Multigrain crackers to eat with my um Oh sorry y'all. To eat with my um uh, my turkey sticks. I've gotta have another bag. My turkey sticks and my cheese, Kobe Jack cheese uh, sticks. Yeah. I got another thing of eggs, another 12 count of eggs. Excuse me, but I was thirsty. <laughs> um, again, for breakfast time, I got some grits. Ooh. I got some pasta. Two. Of vanilla wafers. Those vanilla wafers are so effing good, y'all. Those, and I get mad at myself every time I only get one box because they're just good. I mean, you know, you can get 10 servings. Well, you could only eat eight cookies. Eight cookies for 140 calories. Well, if you're a person that counts your calories, you only eat eight. But anyways, <laughs> I got some tuna fish, <laughs> tuna fish, and two cans of pineapple chunks. Pineapple is um, one of my favorite fruits. I also like apples and grapes and cherries. <laughs> Here's the other pineapple. Oh my gosh, we're on the last one. And the last one is nothing but I have four cans of tomato sauce. Four cans of tomato sauce and two cans of tomato. 
Okay, my camera just shut off on me, but I got two candle tomato paste. And that's all for my grocery haul. I'll talk to you good peoples in a few minutes once I put all this stuff up.